Hey, good morning. It's a fantastic day here in Denver. Today I'm going to talk to you about what type of marketer you want to be. And there are clearly, the way I see it, two different ways you can go about it. Perhaps three, depending on how you look at things. The first way is to be just a retailer of stuff, an affiliate for all kinds of different products in a particular niche. For instance, you may want to get into the make money online niche and you'll build up a huge list of people that are get all excited about making money online and they'll buy several different programs and you are just the person who advertises and sells the product. You don't offer any customer service, you don't train people on anything, you don't assist them with it. All you do is introduce people to the guy or girl who's selling the product. And in this way you just build up your huge list of opportunity-minded buyers and then you find different offers to send to that type of person until they eventually buy something because even if they're an opportunity buyer, they'll be looking at different things that they're interested in. One guy might be interested in Forex, while another woman might be involved in some kind of network marketing product. Fine, that's one way of doing it. Now, some people might think that that's not necessarily ethical. And sometimes I look at it and I think, well, maybe it's not depending on your point of view. I think it is because I look at them like Walmart. Walmart does not build all the stuff that they sell. They don't, they have their own brand, but they just stick their name on stuff that other people put together. That's licensing. And I don't hold it against Walmart that they don't have a, a guy teaching me how to use the product or, or give great advice on different things. They just have the stuff there and then you choose what you want and you buy it. So to me, that's how I look at it because not everyone does the next thing, which is you are an affiliate still, or you have your own product. And what you do is you sell exclusive products for a tighter niche. And what you're, you're saying to the person is if you buy my product, it might come with training, it might come with webinars, it might come with a video, it, or it could have a membership site where you're consistently adding new stuff to it to add to or augment the product that the person bought. And you're much more closely aligned with the product you're selling and the results that people get from it because you're part of the package. You become the, the face of it and the one that facilitates the buyer experience as they go through as they go along now there is another way that i'm thinking of and it's when you are just a traffic person and what you do is you get very very good at sending traffic to an offer a specific niche offer in this case you, this is the person you call a super affiliate. The, the first person I talked about, that, that can be a super affiliate also. But in this case, I'm talking about someone who is just specifically a traffic expert and they will work with people who have created products or services to just get loads of people going to their thing, their, their offer page. Depending on who you are, and what you want to do. Most people get started with the expert, uh, the expert status, where they're the one that's more closely aligned with the product. They're gonna do more training. They're gonna get people more involved. For instance, if you're a network marketer, your job is not just to recruit people, but to teach them how to recruit people for the business and to sell the thing that you're selling. Whereas if you're an affiliate marketer, all you'll do is sell, let's say it's your program, you're selling it, but then you're going to offer coaching and stuff to help people do better with the thing they bought from you. 
So that's what most people start out as. And then some of them figure out, hey, you know what? I, I'm really good at driving traffic to these things. Maybe I should just be a super affiliate and get different programs and offer those to my list. Or you go serious big league media buyer and just work with different affiliates and stuff to send traffic to their offers. Whichever way you decide to go about it is fine. You might want to think about it before you get in too deep just to decide which direction. It'll affect your decisions as you go along. So decide who you're going to be. You're going to be the expert or you're just going to send people to offers and let them fend for themselves. <laughs> it's all good and it's all up to you. Just pick one that you know you're going to stick with and you'll have a good time doing it and you'll make a ton of money and make a lot of people happy which is what we're all after that's all i got for today i'll see you tomorrow i'm out